Welcome to the 19th hole. Today we are coming at you from the immaculate Q Golf Course. How good is it? I, when we're editing this, I'm going to straight away start putting some drone footage up because oh. uh, we, you and I are boring to look at compared to the, the footage of this place. Yeah. We, we do have to, before we even start, we have to say a massive thank you to Matt and the team at Q yeah. for letting us even come near your course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of hackers like us on it. Sorry. <laughs> I had a couple of hackers lo uh, like us loose for a while. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for a few hours, yeah, but no, we, um, I've, I've had a ball. Like, this is, it's unreal, this course is so good. I can comfortably say this is the best course I've ever played yeah. in my life. Yep. It, yeah. There was times when I was walking around, I think I said it in the review too, that I was looking at there and I'm like, I feel like I'm at Augusta, because it, it was so carpet and that, that sort of dark green yeah. with the trees and the white sand, and I was it's like, rough. Like until the day we Trenton gets to play at Augusta, this is yeah. this is feel like this is as close as we've gotten so far. Yeah. But if there's wow. any other courses in Melbourne that think you're better than this, hit us up. We'll come out and have a look. We'll judge. We won't so be what, harsh. What we're talking, we'll show you around. We'll show you around a bit of the bit of the clubhouse that I'm allowed, was allowed to go into. I, was, I mean, there's a little bit of functions going on, so I didn't want to go prying into people's lives. And no. um, but it's I mean, like I said in the in the review, it's. Eight thousand dollar joining fee, yeah. and something like three, three and a half thousand a year. So, it, but they said they play like fifteen hundred yeah. rounds of golf a week. So it's, it's full on. Is it a week? I thought he did a day. I, I can't imagine it'd be a day. That's a lot. <laughs> That's four rounds. Four people per tee time. You tee up every five minutes. Whatever it is, whatever it's very it was, busy. It's a, <laughs> it's a very busy course. I, I actually, I got shot when he said I'm off. Like, wow. But yeah, it might have been a way, But yeah, it was ridiculous amount. Yeah. Mm. So it was built in. 1894, and I was second talking, oldest one in Melbourne. Third oldest. I was yeah, talking to Matt. Yeah, it's the third oldest course behind. I think he said Royal Melbourne and I want to say Riversdale is the other one he mentioned. I don't know. I was droning when you were talking about that. <laughs> you often do drone on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's uh, there was so many holes where I just I, I had to keep catching myself and go uh, pinching myself and saying we're here. Yeah, like, I had an absolute hit ass around. Like I. I, I, I didn't hit good at all today. Like, I was playing very badly. See, I was the opposite. I hit so many good shots. And but I, was, I had an absolute ball. Like, I was hitting terrible shots. It's like, I'm hitting off carpet. Like, it's better than carpet. I've seen carpet. <laughs> and this, this is better than carpet. It was, just, <laughs> it was just so pure to hit the ball off. And if you hit it right, and, yeah, okay, I'm using the RC softball, so it does spin. Yeah. But when you hit it right, my God, like, when you, you can attack a green from 190 out and stick it. Like, you know you're on. You're on the right tip. <laughs> what, what, what was funny was we got the last hole and you said, I hear you say yourself, come on self, just hit one good drive. <laughs> and then you played that hole pure. Yeah. Like, I nearly birdied. <laughs> straight down the middle, straight on the green. And what did the guy say to you? The, it's, not many, it's, it's a hard hole to birdie. Very rare to get a birdie out of that. Yeah. So it was a pretty damn good effort in the last hole. Uh, yeah, no, look, it's, but yeah, I mean, it's, I, I can't rate this highly, highly <laughs> enough. Like, if you ever got the chance to actually come out to them, a member only course anywhere and I'm, I'm not saying this is the best one ever this is a, it is at the moment because it's the only one I've ever played <laughs> but if you come out if you get the chance to do it do it you're not going to be mis you're not going to like you're going you're to walk away with a big grin on your face so they did say that um, it is members only but corporate you're going to get corporate packages here where you can pay I think it's about $150 a head and you can get um, yeah, like I say a company can bring people here for a corporate day I think you're saying about 30 odd um, corporate events per year but if you're on the set fence about becoming a Treadham subscriber, just know that we gave away four tickets to play yeah. at this course. So, Ugh. and you're yawning again. Oh, I'm so tired. Every single time. I haven't, I literally, <laughs> this is the first round. Normally, like, we have bottles of water galore. Yeah. And this is the first round I didn't have any in my bag left over from last time we played. Yep. And I just assumed there'd be water in there, so I didn't. So I haven't had a drink all day. Yeah. I've had a little bit of water out of the tap that I think might have actually come straight from the Yarra. <laughs> I don't know. It may have been filtered, but I don't like like tap water, so nah. So there was so many holes today that you could have said was a signature hole. I think there was eighteen. Yeah, there was eighteen of them, pretty much. Yeah, um, um, a couple of par threes were written there. The one we live streamed was stunning. Yeah, the, and the night, the eighteenth, the short eighteenth with the water down the side. Yeah, just here. Yeah, that um, was... that's got probably one of the like that chip I had was straight up hole to the flag. Yeah. Um, uphill. It was just up all the way. If I landed it short, it was coming back at me. Um, well, we went with the six, 16th off memory. The yeah, long par, par five. five yeah. The double dog leg. That you absolutely shanked the crap I wasn't out. overly happy with my tee shot. And I let it be known after the shot that I wasn't happy. And I was close to not doing the, the signature hole there. And just going, I'm not doing it there. 
but, but it came good, but real we did. good. Yeah, so check it out now. So this is the signature hole series. Today I'm coming from the Q Golf Course, the 16th hole. It is a not an overly long par five, but you've got bunkers out to the right, and a big opening spot out to the left, and then your second shot, you've got trees and water, and we'll show you the flyover because it looks amazing. Let's go. I've got my driver. I'm gonna smash it. So if you go long and right here, you're gonna end up in those bunkers. That tree is really daunting. If you're someone who can draw the ball, this is really gonna suit your eye. Because you can go left around that tree and get a nice second shot. I'm not generally a drawer of the ball, but I'm gonna chance my arm. Oh, Trevor. So I've got back onto the fairway after that horrible tee shot. I've left myself with a really, really challenging shot. This could almost be a how the F do you get out of this shot. Okay, 186 metres to the hole, but it's got to be high enough to cover those trees. But if I lay up, I've also got bunkers covering the fairway at the front of it. And water to the left. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit a long four and try and cover those bunkers and maybe go to the right of the green. That has come off beautifully. So I've left myself with a very, very interesting shot here. I was super happy with the way that four iron came out, but I've left myself with a really hard flop shot across a bunker to the green that's sort of going downhill towards the front. This could go anywhere. Pretty happy with that. All right, so this would be for a very unlikely par. I got very lucky. One of the greenskeepers was watering the green for us just before I hit my shot, and it helped me a lot. No! Oh! I'm having a hard time picking up the read of these greens, but they are fantastic. They roll so true. And after that tee shot, I'm very happy with a bogey. I'm very, very happy with that. That is an amazing, amazing par five. It's got so many places where you could really, really go wrong. I got very lucky on numerous occasions. Fantastic hole. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. That was a signature hole. You were very lucky on that chip that the guy just watered the green. Yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> I was, <laughs> where the, you can see that stop. And I was, when it's coming at me, I'm like, yep, that's going over the other side. It and was. it just hit and stopped, and it done that. <laughs> It was a ballsy chip because I had bunker in front of me. I think it was bunker on the other side. The no, very little, rolled downhill. Yeah, right? very little green to work with. Yeah. And it had a little dip, and I just went, you know what? All in. Just went all in and going on this shot. Because there was a, I reckon there was a flop shot earlier on in the day that you tried to hit and you skinny did across the green. And I thought, he's going a flop shot. I see you line up for it. I'm thinking to myself, and you're talking away on the camera, and because I was a, a bit further off, and you were yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. and I'm thinking to myself, this is going over the green. And when you hit it, I'm like, yep, here it comes, and it landed and stopped. I went, nah, if that hadn't just been watered, <laughs> that was gone. I actually talked to the, um, <laughs> the, the the guy who works at the court, like the, the groundsman, and he, yeah. yeah, the groundskeeper, and I looked at him and I said, that was lucky that, that you just watered that, and he goes, yeah, you were pretty <laughs> lucky. Well, even he was like, yeah, yeah, that's that was, uh, that. yeah, that was going that way. He had a good laugh because. Straight away after that, you hit your chip, you bladed, yeah. and hit the pin as went well, in the stop there. Yeah, I didn't blade it; I just hit it too hard. It was it was moving. It was going. Yeah. It was going. It was it was supposed to hit the lip and pop up and just roll up to the hole, but it missed the lip by a second. Yep. But the littlest, smallest margins that went over and just kind of skimming across the water. <laughs> well, if I'm not playing it right now, over top of this, I'll be disappointed in myself. But um, yeah, it, was... it, did, it did. It listened. Just went, it just went bang into the flag and stopped. See, often when you hit the flag, it will ricochet off and go miles yeah. away. That just went. I'm it must, there. I reckon it was the wood. If you see the flag, I don't know if you took a close up of them, but the flags are like sticks. They're like that not thick, thick wood. Thick. Yeah, but they narrow down at the bottom too, yeah, whatever but it was. Insane. Like, no, it, I mean this whole course is just. Well, it's all about little details, isn't it? Like, even when you get in the cart, there was little 
queue golf course tees sitting yeah. there ready for you with the queue logo on I've got one in my office now. <laughs> Your office. Our yeah. office. Oh, my desk now. <laughs> yeah, it's... I broke um, the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's um, just, yeah, no, yeah, it was just, just beautiful. Oh, it is. Um, but we are, like you said, we're so grateful for Matt to offering us, uh, you know, to come out and play it. Like, when, when when you came to me and said, hey, I've been offered Q, I'm like, ah, hell yes. <laughs> and I'm... I've played crap today, but I've had an absolute ball. Like, you can't be mad and play the course is good. Yeah, yeah. Like, now I know why people that have a good and they get to play on good courses get really good. Yeah. Because it's all there. If you're playing on, like, not, like, you know, crappy courses, so, I'm well, not, man- not you know, fully manicured and, like, undulating, courses, undulating and, yeah, yeah. and you're not, and you go to a course like that, you, you struggle. And I'll, we've shown that. Well, they're great for people who are sort of your, your 30, 35 handicappers. They're still learning the game yeah. and, and you don't want to like, it's really hard to come on this course and play poorly or hit the little drill on the ground because you feel a lot of pressure yeah. to actually play well because you don't want to be embarrassing yourself in front of the members yeah. so you want to well, get mate. to a certain place yeah <laughs> you want to get to a certain point and then migrate to a better course but yeah. one thing I did love today was we were wandering down a course and we both went oh crap we haven't done a how the look out of this episode yeah. so we're like Let's just do one now. It's a really, really long bunker shot. And uh, check it out. So welcome back to another how the do I get out of this. This is just a stand now. You're going to look at this and go, he's not plugged in the bunker or nothing. No, I'm not. But I can't play bunkers. And I've got a long carry and a very short landing zone to the flag. And if I go over the other side, I'm in the poo-poo. So I'm not a very good bunker player, as we know. And Trevor's standing right in the firing line here. Fingers crossed I'll either land it or I'll hit Trevor, one and two. And that, oh! I have literally pulled that shot fair and square out of my butthole, I will admit. If you watch our review, you'll see that it's taken me probably four or five times in bunkers today to do exactly that. But uh, yeah, there we go. How the, do I get out of that? Pull one out of your pooper. Thanks for watching. That was the hell of, uh, that. <laughs> that was pulled straight out of my backside. I won't, will not lie. Like, if anyone has been watching this channel for a long time, you know I cannot play a bunker shot. Yep. Since I've changed to the Rory group, I will admit I am finding it a little bit easier, but I struggle. Like, there's one early on in the day, it took me two shots to get it out. Yeah. And it was shorter than that. It's not your fourth, is it? No, no. Um, well, in saying that, I got out of every bucket. <laughs> Bar one, with one shot, and that nearly landed in the hole. Like that was, I mean, it spun like, around it. it. Like I said, it was just a, oh crap, we haven't done a how the, oh quick, do it now, bang one. Oh wow, that was landed. That was just, it just worked. Just, it just, it was, yeah, it, it was um uh, like luck. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, like um, yeah, we, <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I don't think I could replicate that ever. Um, if it is, it's either going to go in or go flying across the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that, I, I think that was a lot of luck and it came down to the conditions. Like, to actually hit out of a, a proper bunker yeah. with, you know, with the proper sand and you know, it was nice and fluffy and all that. And to have that manicured green to, and to have the grip and. Have yeah, well, most other greens I reckon it would have gone one hop and stopped and been short. Mm. And just. The, the, the greens here, they just, <laughs> it took me a while to come to grips with it because you put on them and it just rolls. They just but go. it rolls so purely, but it keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. You, you really got to know how to putt when you're on a good course. What I love though was like, you see, like, so when we go at most courses, you, you chip the ball when you get the one hop stop or you get the bit of spin and you, you, it's hard to judge the distance. Yeah. And you just watch the pros and you see them and they chip it on and it'll roll for like four or five meters or two or three meters up to the hole. It's, this course has that same feel to yeah. it. Like I did on 18 there, and I'll, I'll probably show it on top of that. Um, I hit that really nice chip and it rolled down near the hole. But that was, it was all just feel. Like yeah. you could just, I, I trusted the green, I trusted the roll. Block. Yeah, you could feel it. You just, I was just like, all right, I know I can trust it. I can, if I just put yeah. this there, it's going to roll out. Yeah. Whereas some courses you can put it there and it'll stop, or you put it there and it takes off. But yeah. It, yeah, the, a couple of times I had one 10 metres out, 15 metres back, and I, you just, you try and dart it in low to hit that front edge, and if you miss, it just gripped and stopped. It didn't matter. The one thing I didn't get to terms with early was, I, I, if you hit too hard, bye bye. <laughs> Say goodbye to your ball because it's gone. There's a lot of trees down here. It's um uh, the arrow. We found the arrow that was there as well. Um, I was trying to bring me fishing rod, but yeah, no, it's there's trees everywhere, and there's a highway just over there. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a highway. The major is that the M1? That's the Eastern Freeway. That's the Eastern Freeway right yeah. there. So. 
And there's another course like right next to us. I found out there's like another one just over there as well. That it probably is as good as this course. We don't know. We're going to have to play that one next. We've got so many to play. It's great. Yeah. Like, um, but no, look, I can't rate this course high enough. Oh, I've had an amazing time. An amazing time, Andy. And what's even better is by the time you're watching this, we'll have just spent the week in Tassie playing courses down there. And I'm so... <laughs> You'll be on the plane on the way home and I'll be... Potentially, camp, yeah. I'll be driving the lawn system waiting <laughs> to get on the boat the next day. So, <laughs> so keep an eye out. We're, we're going to... Mean, you probably missed it anyway, but we're going to be live streaming from the course. But keep an eye out for the live streams. You can probably go back and watch them. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have... yeah, for the next few weeks, we're going to be dropping a lot of stuff from Tassie. Yeah. Just for to get stuff. Oh, we're coming up to school holidays, so you're going to go away with the kids. Yeah. So we need a couple of weeks ahead in advance of stuff done. So we can, you can have a holiday with your kids. I, yeah, can, I can have a holiday with my daughter. So. I, can't, I can't wait for that. But the, the, the Tassie thing is going to be amazing. Oh, and, and so it's so good. And I struggle with the whole thinking forward because I know by the time this goes out that we've already been there. So it'll be a, it was awesome, but right now I feel like it's going to be awesome. It was, is, and has been good, awesome. Shall, shall not and shall will and shall yeah. is and all those yeah. things. Yeah, if you, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be great. And um, Josh is coming as well, which is going to be even better. It's a bit of a boys trip, but. Yeah. Um, we're, going to, we're going to stitch it all together too into a nice long documentary of, yeah, of the trip. So it's and, going to be a massive we're going to have show footage of travelling around Tassie as well. Yeah, so if you haven't been to Tassie, you'll see some different stuff. Um, you know, we'll do a bit of this and a bit of that, and a bit of drone, extra drone footage and from places that, you know, look, we're going to, fingers crossed, we're going to get on the most southernmost golf course in Australia. Yep, down Dover. Dover. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be cold. It's going to be cold. And I, I love it. I'm going to have to find pants <laughs> and a thicker jumper. Um, I might actually buy one before we go. But um, no, nah, look, it's yeah, it's going to be great fun. I'm, I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. If you've stuck around to this part of the video, I feel like you, you need to have subscribed by now because the, you never know what course or what we're going to give away next. Yeah. So if you like the look of Q Golf Course and pretty golf courses, keep watching us because we're going to keep giving them away. That's it. We love giving back to you guys, and we've had just the best day, and we're so grateful to Matt and the team here, because no, they, they just looked after us. It was yeah. like, come on down, here's a cart, head out there. The, the members they're were all nice, they were yeah. all keen to see what we were doing, and yeah. they're, they're so proud of this course, and well, they should be. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I've had an amazing time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.